Come on, girl. Come on. That is crazy. Yes! You guys have no idea. That nest up there was empty for two days. My imagination went crazy to what could have happened to this wasp. A dragon could have come down and ate it. It could have been run over by a helicopter. A bird could have pooped on it in mid-flight. She could have waged war against a fire ant colony and lost. The options were endless to have how she could have perished, but she didn't, and that's what matters. I'm Josh, you are watching Just Joshing, and this is a female wasp that has just started to create her nest. This is before I tamed her, so she might attack me right now. But if you can see, there's fresh laid eggs in there. She's been busy making this nest. It's only a few days old and she's really working hard. Unlike this other guy over here, there's another nest on this side. Look at the size of that lame thing. Like, come on boy. You guys might be wondering, is she the queen? Now with this species of wasp, you actually don't really have a queen, you just have a female who's fertile and laying eggs, and so yes, this is the female who starts the nest. You can tell she is really not enjoying my presence. I am going to try to tame her so that I can tame the nest when it only has one wasp on it. That way when all the other wasps hatch, I'll have a better chance of winning the whole nest over. I'm gonna try to get her to a point where she will climb on my finger to get some honey. Let's see what happens. She could attack me and sting me. Who knows? I'm gonna start by just getting my finger close to her so that she gets used to it. As you can tell, she tenses up and she does not like my presence at all. However, she's a lot more docile than she even was a few minutes ago. So my hope is to keep this nest here on my front porch and see how big I can get it without it becoming dangerous. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna try to touch her antenna. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Here we go, you guys see this? Ooh, it moved. Ooh, she moved again. It's okay, baby. You're okay. Okay. She's getting a little feisty. Let's give her some honey. 100% raw honey. Only the best for the queen. She's not actually a queen. I, I already said that. We ready to roll. Check her out. For a second there, I thought she was cleaning one of her eggs. An important job for the adult wasps is to make sure that the eggs have the right amount of bacteria killing saliva on them. All right, let's see how she reacts. Here's some honey, girl. Ooh, what's she doing, what's she doing? Oh crud, she looks a little aggressive. What are you doing? Here's some honey. Oh, she sees it. Oh, I feel her, she's eating it. She's eating it. Oh, that tickles, it tickles. Wow, that was fast, she likes me already. I was not expecting her to be tamed that fast, but it seems like she's pretty close to climbing on my finger already. Her little tongue tickles my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ludicrous. Golly, let's see if she'll come out further. Come on, girl, come on, come on. There's more where that came from. All right, I'm gonna give her a short break and come back with some more honey, see if she'll climb on my finger. I asked you guys, and most of y'all wanted to keep this nest on the front porch rather than me move it into my habitat that's in my room. So I'm gonna keep this nest here. However, I'm gonna put the same species of this wasp in my room as well, because this is a very docile wasp that makes a good pet. Ooh, she looking at me like she's saying, I want some more of that honey. All right, girl, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, I think she smells it. Come on, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. There you go. I'm gonna try to pick her up. Oh, she's really cautious, but she's holding on. Oh, look at that, she dangled there. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, I wanna make a disclaimer. Please do not try this yourself. This could be very dangerous, especially if you don't know if you're allergic to wasps or not. All right, I'm gonna to try to pick her up. Here we go. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. She feels that I'm scared. Oh, I got her, guys. 
No way. I got her. She, she doesn't care at all. Look at that beauty, guys. She's so obsessed with the honey, she does not mind me holding her. Guys, do you see this? She's oblivious. The honey is pretty much hypnotizing her. I don't want to really breathe on her because she's scared of bad breath. That is crazy. She's eating up that honey, girl. Guys, this is the fastest I've ever tamed a wasp. Let's see how far I can go without her flying to her nest. All right, Let's see if we can take her for a walk. We're going out into the sun. Oh, she senses something. Oh, there she goes. She gonna land on my finger again? <gasps> Come on. Oh, she's up here. She's a little bit lost. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, she gonna land again? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, land on the finger. The finger. Oh, please don't get mad though. Don't be mad. I think she's getting a little feisty because she's now disoriented. The honey totally <laughs> made her lose sense of time. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 please. <gasps> she landed. Do you see that, guys? She's eating a little drop of honey on my thumb that I didn't even know was there. She knew it was there, but I didn't. That's crazy. Even though she flew around, she still didn't go back to her nest. She came back to me. Who's the real MVP? <laughs> she went from extremely suspicious of me and aggressive to now she doesn't even seem to mind my presence at all, which is crazy. Guys, comment below what we should name her and then comment below what you think we should name the entire nest. She's putting her abdomen up in the air as if to tell me, don't you get near, but she's literally standing on me, so I don't think I could get any more close. Unless I tried to pet her, that's a good idea. Oh, she stopped eating the honey. Oh. <gasps> okay. Look at this, guys. That's in, oops, that was a kind of a rough pet, but she relaxed when I, when I pet her the first time. Oh, now she's going. She's going to fly. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And she's back on her nest. That, my friends, is how you tame a wasp. I'm going to see if this guy on the other side of my front porch wants some honey. I haven't tried any taming techniques with this guy, so right off the bat, he's really suspicious. He's tensing up. He's dripping. You know what? Oh yeah, no, he's not. I'm just gonna leave the honey right here. I don't like this guy as much. He's not near, or she, I guess, is not near as energetic as the other one. We really need to give him names, guys. So you can even name this one. Comment below. I don't like this one as much. It's it's slower in creating its nest. It's a lot more timid. It's not as active. So, but I'll just leave some honey there. Maybe that energy will kick its personality into gear. I am really excited to observe this nest grow. If you guys are too, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Also, when you watch my videos all the way through, that's the best way to support me and my efforts because then YouTube values the video more and pushes it to more people. Also, quick update on my Queen Yellow Jacket. For those who don't know, I captured a Queen Yellow Jacket. You can look at the video in the description. This species of wasp is a lot more aggressive than what you just saw me tame. This thing is going to create a huge nest. She is still hibernating right now, but I'm preparing her habitat right now. It's a little bit dark, but you can see how I've completely emptied my closet. And it's a perfect space for this queen yellow jacket to make a nest because it has all these different shelves. So hopefully she'll create a nest in one of these shelves and that'll be crazy awesome. So I'm gonna install some plexiglass on the door frame so that you can see into the closet, but she doesn't attack people. 